Hi everyone! On Wednesday, Wall Street closed in the green, the US dollar consolidated at lower levels, while oil and gold prices dropped. The equity market advanced yesterday with all major stock indices reaching their highest levels since early June. However, Asian stock exchanges did not follow suit. Why so? Let's discuss this and other events of the Asian session in our video review. Let's start! As a rule, the movements of the national currency are mainly influenced by the stance of the monetary policy adopted by the central banks. For example, in recent months we have more than once witnessed how speculations or even small hints about the Fed's move on rates could affect the US dollar exchange rate. The next Fed meeting will take place soon. The majority is sure that the regulator will hike the benchmark rate by 75%. Traders also expect other major central banks to tighten their monetary policies more, more aggressively. This B meeting is scheduled for today. The watchdog is likely to raise the key rate for the first time in 11 years. Runaway inflation and geopolitical woes force CCB officials to make urgent decisions. The RBA governor also stressed the need for further interest rate hikes today. Analysts reckon that the Bank of England will also remain hawkish. Only the Bank of Japan and China's central banks are reluctant to hike rates, sticking to a dovish stance. At today's meeting, the Bank of Japan left the parameters of monetary policy unchanged. Given the cornucopia of monetary policy meetings, traders shifted their attention from the US dollar. As a result, the greenback lost its previous gains. The recovery of the euro and the pound sterling today pushed the US dollar index to 2.107.12. The euro rose to a two-week high against the US dollar ahead of the ECB meeting. Taking into account that the euro amounts to about 57% of the currency basket, the US dollar index has sunk quite significantly today. Apart from that, the US currency is unable to rebound due to increased risk appetite and a rally on Wall Street. There are several hours left before the announcement of the ECB's key rate decision. The US dollar is likely to consolidate in the channel of 106.68, 107.21. The Bank of Japan has already held the meeting. It decided to maintain its ultra-loose monetary policy and leave the key rate at 0.1%. The current Bosch government, Haruhiko Kuroda, will reach the end of his term in April 2023. He is likely to retain a dovish stand on monetary policy throughout this period. Meanwhile, Japan's trade balance narrowed even more because of the depreciated yen and high import costs. The weak national currency is already causing more harm than giving benefits. Today, after a slight rise in mid-inflation data, the yen gave way to the US dollar. It appears the pay is heading to a 24-year high again. Last week, the yen reached 139.38. Today, it came close to 138.64. In the Asian session, the dollar-yen pair was moving in the, in the range of 137.97, 138.69. It means that the weekend US dollar is still climbing against the yen. The greenback is also higher versus the Aussie. However, the latter managed to advance thanks to a high correlation with the US stock market. It tested a two-week high of 0.6914, yet it retreated a bit later because of a stronger US dollar. During the Asian session, the Australian American dollar pair slipped to 0.6865, moving in the downward range of 0 0.6865, 0 0.6919. Mixed sentiment on stock exchanges is partially associated with U.S. macrostats. Traders saw signs of recession and fresh data on the hosting market. Housing starts fell to 2%, adding risks that a slowdown could ripple through the economy. It may be the reason for a more aggressive monetary tightening. The U.S. dollar usually asserts strength amid expectations of higher key rates. This rise can also be seen on the chart. That's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest market news. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you.